All right, how you doing today? Today we're taking a look at the Logic Session Players. We're gonna make some synth basses from the Session Player Bass Player. Now, at the time of making this video, Logic did not include any synth bass or synth keyboard kind of parts. They probably will add them in the future, I'm imagining. They did it with the drummers. You know, they, have, they added so many drummers over the years. We started off with the bass player and the piano player here, but we could still do a lot with it. Also, please do subscribe to the channel. I have hundreds of other videos on my back catalog. Lots of really cool stuff on Logic Pro 11, some Reason stuff, free BST plugins, music production stuff. So hit the notification bell to be notified of new videos coming out. All kind of cool stuff on here. And let's just get right into this. Okay, so we have this track here and I started off with the disco bass here, Indie Disco. This, seem, this one seems to work very well transposing into electronic bass sounds but you can try other ones out as well. And we'll do some adjustments here. We'll check this thing out. Okay, so right now let's just play how it is with the disco bass sound. Okay, something like that. And by the way, you can check my other video because these is synth, all the synth sounds and stuff are actually the piano players. We'll go into that in a different video. But anyway, so we're gonna duplicate this track here and I have the exact same thing. I'm just gonna drag down all my parts here, keep it all the same. And we're gonna mute this one. And then we're gonna change the bass sound here. And I'm just gonna use the monophonic synth built into Logic, the ESM. And now we have something that sounds like this. First, I'm gonna play this section here. This is just a default setting. I left on all the channel trip settings that were on original bass, but we could manipulate all that as well. But let's just see what this sounds like. now we have a nice synth bass and then we can do further manipulation uh, we could change the preset here if we want try a different bass and other things like that now sometimes because we are using all the articulations that are in the electric bass this picking the slides and all that fun stuff um, it does not translate well all the time when you change the bass sound to a synth bass so, and sometimes you have to change the octave too, so we'll go into that as well. Like this section of the song here, it's a little strange. Like you hear that bass slide note, a little strange here. So we could take the slides down, we could take the dead notes out because we're not gonna have too many dead notes. We could change the complexity. We could change the feel. Well, the feel's pretty much on. And we kind of want it on. Go back to the main here, phrasing. Sometimes the shorter phrases sound better on the synth bass. Go back to the medium. Get the long. Different settings are gonna sound different even on different basses, because if we change this bass sound up. There's one where it's really low, check this out. So we can take the lowest note here, move it up. So a lot of fun you could just do with the ES here, the mono synth. There's all kind of cool sounds in here. Let's 
experiment with the fills. So on and so forth. Another fun one is the Alchemy synthesizer. Go to the bass sounds. on that section. And with the alchemy, you can uh, use automation and do that kind of swelling stuff between different sounds, which is really cool. I love this synthesizer. Um, so yeah, some really cool, fun stuff here to get flowing with different creativity and using the session players in different ways. So check it out. Check out the other video. You know, you kind of pretty much do the same thing with the synths, but there's some other tips and tricks with the synths and stuff. So check out the other video on that. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. That is all for now. I will talk to you soon.